There's that. All right, Jeff, I got a question for you. Um, Karsten Runquist. What does the term piano mean? Um, the term, the term pi- piano? Yeah, what does the term piano mean? Like the instrument. Yes, what does the term mean? There's a meaning. Uh, <laughs> anno is like year in yeah. Latin, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, P. Uh, I'm gonna Piss. go with good year. It is uh, to be played softly. Um, so close, but not mm. really. Not really. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll get him next time. Uh, today we'll get him next got- time. That might have been yeah. the most wrong I've ever been on one of the trivia questions. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Um, this today we we we're having some internet issues, so bear with us. Um, and yeah, we're you're sorry recording that recording from uh, California. Yes. Uh, so that's that. Um, yeah. How was your it, trip? It's been going. It's it's going well. Yeah. I. It's kind of chilly here. I hear I'm missing. A horrible cold storm in uh, the Midwest. Like I heard, it's just miserable. So I'm not looking forward to going back. But I've heard that as well. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, hopefully it is. your your flight back's all good. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Let's. We're gonna figure that out in like an hour. So yeah, my <laughs> yeah my brother is uh yeah my brother is uh driving back to Florida from Texas uh in a oh, couple yeah. days and uh, it's supposed to be like. The, the weather in Texas is supposed to get terrible as well in a day or two. Jesus. Just a like lot gonna of bad. It's going to drop like 50 degrees Fahrenheit in. Oh, my God. It's going to be like 20 degrees there in Texas. That is horrible. We all, it's, we're all feeling like yeah, Jonathan Taylor Thomas great. in that we trying to get home for Christmas movie, you know. And I'll be home for Christmas. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you remember that film, even though you, you profusely hated it and thought it was bad. I did not. I don't remember hating it that much. Maybe I did. You but said I... this is the worst film I've ever seen. No, you didn't say that. <laughs> I got nothing but respect for Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Um, yeah. Whoa. Anyway. I just looked at the weather forecast for here in Florida, and yeah. it's going to get cold. Yeah. Yeah. Things are not sort of, good yeah. no matter where we are um, is kind of the the vibe i'm getting yeah um anyway i we the world cup happened um which i thought we could touch on briefly it did happen yeah we did and, uh, cover it yeah your 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 underdogs spain <laughs> did not do well no they did not do uh, well but, it's but funny because underdogs. they lost to the actual underdogs <laughs> yeah Morocco. yeah i know yeah i that um, was a yeah. funny thing to say on my part. <laughs> uh, Especially because I didn't release it until after they already lost. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. So Argentina so uh, and Messi came through. Messi the new at underdogs. the age of 35 finally won a World Cup. Yeah. The new underdogs. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get more underdog than Argentina. <laughs> Doesn't get um, more underdog than Argentina. Yeah. But the, I was very happy to see that. I was rooting yeah. for Argentina, for the record, even though we both, I think, are very pro France. Uh, you know, I mean, what? Are, what were you? Were you rooting for Argentina? <laughs> you made that sound so, like I, I was just because of Messi. I wanted to see yeah. Messi win. Yeah, we all wanted to see that. Um, it was a good morning. I got up yeah. at like seven a.m. to watch it, which was ex- exciting. It was a crazy. Oh game. right, because you're um, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. It, that game was cr- usually World Cup finals are boring because no really? team wants to lose, so they just play like really conservatively. So a lot of World <laughs> Cup finals are like there's like one goal. Wow, interesting. Yeah, this one was like Fran- it looked like Argentina was sweeping, and then 
something changed. Something clicked halfway through. Yeah, Argentina um, was dominating, and then uh, France got that penalty, and then yeah. right after that, Mbappe had that crazy goal. Yeah, it was a good I game. do like Mbappe a lot. I like he's a good Mbappe. Player. His name's fun to say. Mbappe. It is. It's very fun. Oh, to he's say. he's incredibly fast. He's probably the fastest person I've ever seen on a soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he's and younger than both just of so us so fun to say yeah yeah true. oh yeah he's 23 he's wait he's eight years younger than me <laughs> um let's get into uh the movie today i, sh- I would say um i think it's about time i don't, I I don't have say. any good oh it's speaking about, of it's cups. about that time yeah uh, what speaking wait, of cups. where's oh, yeah do it do your anecdote oh i'm so ready for this anecdote that's it that's it. I was just speaking of cups because you drink and eat out of cups. Oh, um, I thought. Oh, and, uh, like oh, that was supposed to be relating to the. Oh, yeah, it was a segue. I thought you had like a cool the, anecdote about cups. No, no, I didn't realize it was, was a it. segue. That was an. Anecdote. You got really excited. And I was like, he's gonna get let down so fast. Yeah. Um. And then I thought it was an allegory. Yeah. But it turns um, out it was just a metaphor. Just <laughs> for an analogy. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I cut you off. Um, I was well, yeah. I, well, I was gonna ask you about you went to Joshua Tree. I did go to Joshua Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was very that was very fun. I mean, Joshua Tree, it's just I, it's my second time I've been. Um, it's the most accessible national park for me, and I I recommend everyone give it a chance if you're in the area. It's it's kind of hard to get to, yeah, so it's I, not. I don't. <laughs> if, I've never. Yeah been there but it looks like it's just a bunch of sand and trees see that's what i thought but then you get there and it's way more than that it's like a lot of cool boulders and rocks and joshua trees oh and cactus cacti it's, yeah it's great now if you it's had great. to describe a joshua tree what uh-huh. how would you do that okay it's very seuss like like dr seuss um in that it's <laughs> it it has a weird it's it's like thicker and thinner than a normal tree. It's a very odd <laughs> it's a very odd girth going on mm-hmm. with the tree. <laughs> and then the the branches are kind of like squiggly. They like move around and then on the tips of the branches it like sprouts out like these green leaves. And it's a very interesting looking tree that I've never seen anywhere else but Joshua Tree, which is probably why they named the park after mm-hmm. it. Um yeah, and they're that's, they're that's just cool. you know, and you're very a very dry. interesting looking person. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that as I'll take that as a compliment. I don't know what that means. That sounds like it's supposed to it sounds like yeah, I meant for it to be a compliment. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. after I said it, I realized it sounded like a massive <laughs> insult. So, I apologize, Karsten. You're interesting looking. Yeah. yeah. Um I that was, Well, that was speaking my of Speaking of interesting, I guess, uh, we got the, an interesting movie today. Um, that's the best uh, yeah, I I, your other segue was like bad, but it was better than that one. So I, I really <laughs> messed up by not letting you use the first one. No, nah, no. Nah, um, today's movie is The Menu. Um, it is a mm-hmm. uh, comedy crime horror movie is what it kind of is listed as here. Um yeah, and, and uh, it's from this year, 2022. It was at TIFF, but we did not see it at TIFF. It was one of our big misses. Um, it was? Yeah, I I heard it was it was a lot of fun at TIFF. Oh. So I was like, damn, damn, we missed it. Yeah, TIFF. I could see that um, being fun at TIFF. Yeah. Uh, the synopsis I is... you saw instead. I do. I think I... I, we may have seen Bros instead. I'm not gonna lie. I think it overlapped with Bros. That was the world um, premiere, though. We saw the world premiere. Yeah, exactly. Bros. Um, the synopsis reads: A young couple travel to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. That's it. Which is like a That's pretty a great good synopsis. Synopsis, yeah. yeah. Gets to the point. It, it it tells you exactly what to expect. And what yep. you're expecting is surprises, which inherently means they're unexpected. I'm just talking in circles. <laughs> no, no, you you did a great job. That's that is what. It, yeah, um, it's it stars uh, 
Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, Hong Chow, and Ray Fines, uh, who I always almost say his name incorrectly because it says Ralph yep. Fiennes, but it's Ray Fines. Um, and yep. uh, that's which honestly, Ray Fines, uh, he's just like Kevin Spacey. That's good. He's good. Kevin Spacey's like yeah, the, the yin to Kevin Spacey's yang. Def- well, the thing about Ray Fiennes, he's not. He's definitely yeah. He's he's a better Kevin Spacey. I know he is one of the few celebrities that has co- come out defending J.K. Rowling, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, um, okay, never mind. <laughs> but and when I say funny, I don't mean like ha ha. Well, better than Kevin I mean, Spacey. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But yeah. Uh, funny in that dr- what I just said was immediately disproven. <laughs> yeah, it's like you should Ray never Fiennes. listen to anything I say on this podcast and take it as fact <laughs> unless it's about sports where I actually know what I'm talking about. And that is the exact opposite with me. Whereas, do not listen to a single thing I say about sports and take it. But listen yeah. to what you say about movies. Like, honestly, we sure, complement yeah. each other perfectly. The only issue totally. I see is that this is a movie podcast, so the sports thing really doesn't well, help us much. We cover it enough. We get into sports. Um, we yeah. yeah. This we do. It and honestly, is, uh, you were a higher level athlete than I was. You know that. This is um, fair because you, can, you were you a a high school swimmer. The the furthest in terms of like uh, school athletics that I ever was was a middle school track athlete. Oh, I could see you being great uh, at track. Middle sc- now the issue, I was fast, but I had a growth spurt in high school. So the issue was mm. that middle school track is all about who hits puberty first, <laughs> and I d- did not. So I, I was yeah. very short. I was like five feet tall, and I was running against people who were six feet tall. Uh, right. So right. I just got smoked. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in a Damn. relay uh, as like the B team for the relay as the final leg, and. Uh-huh. The other people on my B relay team took so long that we got the the best team disqualified for the other school because we were so far back they accidentally went in our lane because they didn't even know we were running with them. <laughs> that's strategy, though. That's that's the strategy. Is that's strategy? Just to yeah. Mess with their heads, not their. It was brilliant abilities. by me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So very... it wasn't a great. You know, now I'm much taller. Uh, than I was yeah. when I was five. You feet could tall smoke them now in middle yeah. school. Um, I well, I could smoke those middle schoolers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe not the ones who hit puberty really early, though. They might still get me. <laughs> um, yeah, but but. <laughs> so the menu. To make a segue. But the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's know. directed by uh, Mark Mylod. I I don't really know how to pronounce the name, but. I bring him up because he is the director for most Succession episodes. Like, he is kind of their main guy. Oh, really? For, so he's a big guy in Succession, which is why I was kind of really excited for this because, you know, I'm a big fan. Um, and it also has a yeah, Succession you love actor in that it. that show. I am a big Succession fan, yes. It has Rob Yang in it, who is one of the actors in Succession. Um <clears throat> So anyway, I'm gonna be honest, I still haven't watched it. I know, I know. I watched and the, it's, the menu. It's I, I it's fine. The show. You you should watch Succession, uh, because you have some time yeah, if before we do like season an four comes it. out. I would do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if we do, <clears> we could do like a you know a when season four come out, like May, like May. Yeah. Oh, so I can I have yeah. time to catch up. You have so much time. That's why I'm like you. You can. It's not too late. Yeah, that's what I did with Lost, where right I yeah, watched yeah. all the first five seasons right before the final season, and I'm like, I'm yeah. the only person who knows what's happening in the show because it's so confusing, and I just watched yeah. all of them. <laughs> I was the yeah, I was the only person in the world to understand Lost. And you should have done a Lost podcast. Everyone's like, wait, who's this black smoke guy again? <laughs> and then who's True. this old guy? And he's in like a wheelchair now. When Lost was like happening, he's not and in I was just in, like, on the island. When I was in middle school and it was happening, it was just like I when I heard people talking about it, I'm like, "What is this show?" Because they would just bring up all these like random characters, yeah. like 
And I was like, how does any of this tie in together? Um, yeah. And I guess it didn't make any sense for people who were like, watching what's it happening with too. Desmond? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very anyway. confusing. Now, I watched it when I was a freshman in college, like the final season. That's when yeah. it came out. And um, that's Hulu just became a thing then. So I, I streamed all the previous five seasons on Hulu. All right. That's, yeah. I'm an, I'm an OG Hulu early, user. I was going to say, Let yeah, early Hulu believer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, it used to like not be a subscription thing. It was like all ad based. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I remember like being really excited about it and then being like interrupted by an ad like every five minutes. Um. But anyway. Yeah. I, the menu. Kind of like weird. Did, uh, kind of like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, and and just, you know, we know this episode's kind of rough because we have more of a delay than usual. It's a Um, lot of delay. Yeah. But Karsten, it's a lot of delay. Uh, I probably won't be able to (laughs) fix it in post, but Karsten, honestly, I'm so glad you're here. We're talking about the menu. Give me your thoughts on that. (laughs) Okay. You, (laughs) I love that you're doing that and I'm going to give my thoughts like 10 seconds after you said that. Um, but anyway, yeah. the menu, I really enjoyed this movie. I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. Um, the way I've kind of been describing it is that it's like the third, like rich people are bad movie we've gotten this year. It feels like we got, we get a lot of those movies These after like, I don't know if it was like Parasite or the first Knives Out or something, but like, it seems to be a big, or mm-hmm. maybe just Succession, like a lot of like, and- it's a big trend. Right. And since you're like a rich YouTube guy, you're this offends you now? <laughs> yeah. I feel called Well, literally like there's the character in this movie played by Nicholas Holt who is like this like food influencer. Um and I'm Yeah. I won't spoil it, but there's a scene where he has to cook food. And it's such a great it's a really funny scene. That is, like, making fun of all, like, if you're looking at food as art, like, it's making fun of, like, critics who you could make the case, like, if I try yeah. to make a movie, you get Dirtbag. Um, <laughs> but, like, but it's just... But Dirtbag's good. Dirtbag, yeah, Dirtbag, it's it's better than what he makes in this movie. Um, but it's yeah. it's just, like, it's kind of trying to make a statement on, like, the people who, like, critique it on the outside, may, taking a stab at it. And I yeah. think it was done... So that that was one of my favorite scenes. I thought it was really funny. Um, they like name his thing as like a piece of shit meal, which I didn't know how I felt about all the yeah. title cards at first, but I thought they they grew on me a lot. Um, yeah, it was a good movie. Um, what did you think, Jeff? Yeah, it, the the film, <clears throat> the dialogue in the beginning felt really stale. Exactly. But the film yes. grew on me throughout. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, this dialogue it reminds me of, like, Spree, where it's just, like, yeah. the stalest. <laughs> try- but then it, but it got a lot better. Um, yeah. And and the, honestly, oh, I see you again. Uh, oh, okay. The uh, horror elements worked, which I didn't think yeah. that I would be afraid of a film that takes place in a restaurant. Yeah, there is one but, like know, here we jump. Are. There's a jump scare scene in here that is it's I wouldn't call it a jump scare, but it's like a thing that happens very suddenly that they kind of like build up to. I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, it happens to one of like the staff at the restaurant, uh, and I was just like, I I was right, like yeah, genuinely yeah. shocked what they. <laughs> I won't say because I, again I don't want to spoil it but like as a thriller horror movie like it does deliver and I feel like it gets better the the spicier it gets um, like deeper into the plot when things start going off the rails because the, I agree like at the beginning and anytime it's like not doing something in the thriller realm like it is incredibly stale and doesn't feel like it's doing anything remotely interesting or new um like the yeah. beginning i was just like it's just the same kind of stuff we've always heard and i'm glad it picked up yeah um yeah it felt like the characters were all written by one person 
Yeah. In that, terms, which, uh, like, which is like, were, I don't know, it's a thing where I think about sometimes because I have this problem. Well, they were written by two people, apparently. I, there was like two sc- oh. screenwriters. But okay. I, I, when I, because like, I, I'm bad at screenwriting, so I realized that I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I have a problem making my characters sound like different people with different brains. And uh, yeah. for parts of this film, um, I kind of felt that. But yeah, I would say that subsided after the first third of the film. Absolutely. Yeah, I... I feel like the more you, I uh, the best character in this movie is Ray Fiennes, the the main chef guy. Yes, um, absolutely. I feel like he his performance is amazing, and like the more you learn about his character, the more I'm like, I wish this guy was in a different movie. Like, I wish we had a better, like, fuller, like, story for this guy because mm-hmm. he's so interesting. And right, I feel like we we just watched like the last third of a different of a bigger movie but like there's so much more to it than yeah this like if he was in seen. Ni- if he was in one of the knives out films yeah <laughs> and he just wait he just does this at different restaurants um <laughs> that would be great um yeah no i mean that's the thing is like it's i it's it's not there's just not much to this movie which i think is ultimately the point because it's trying to make this case that like super high yeah high art like pretentious whatever meals are like they don't like fill you up with anything it's not fun and the movie kind of is like i can't tell what it's trying to say at the end like if we should just like have fun with certain things like if food is art if it isn't art um but i think like if you're looking at the movie um yeah, it's that's as a, like a piece it, of food. I think it's, there's it's a just, few different conclusions you could draw. Um, also, you cut uh, out, which is instance, why I kind of gave up on could, that last yeah, sentence. Yeah, say uh, passion. There you are. Is 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 a theme of this? Uh, yes, losing passion for something that you previously enjoyed. Yes, just like um, how um, I lost passion for uh, uh, something, presumably. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, oh, that um, thing I used to like that I don't like anymore. Yep. Um that was great. Well, let me just address what just happened. I was talking and then you froze and then I stopped talking and then I came in halfway through your sentence. And I was like, yeah, okay, I I felt I'm there. that. I'm there. <laughs> I felt that which is why my sentence was so meandering and, and nonsensical. I will say I think it fixed the lag though because i think we're you did fix the lag i don't know now yeah. this is crazy we're back this is crazy it's gonna be like a... i'm in the same room as you i'm very sorry about this episode jeff that you're gonna have to edit this one but yeah I, no, if I, we'll see what gets, happens we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway yeah i i think it's like it is a fun movie that in that it like it just bring just enough like depth and meaning to like have a fun like conversation about i guess but i don't but it's you just don't not have to think about this film there's really not a lot to have to think about which i enjoy yeah for a horror thriller comedy whatever the genre of this is totally it it was it's like a great movie to just go out to the theater for you know i feel yeah. like it's it's one of those because i feel like we haven't gotten one that's just like kind of dumb fun like this in a while um and I don't yeah. know. I, I, I could see like the, my parents really enjoying this. Imagine <laughs> seeing this at one of the the theaters that is also a restaurant. Yeah. So it's like you're <laughs> eating true. with the people. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah. Did it make you hungry, Jeff? Did this movie um, make you hungry? No. Okay. Neither it didn't no neither. No. On, neither well, because also that food doesn't even look good. Like No. I well the burger at the end looks yeah, great. Which, which um, I think is very intentional. The way they shot the food. Yeah. They they made they, they shot all the other food as art. Yeah. Yeah. And they shot the hamburger as like Piece how food, you would see yeah. it in a commercial for hamburgers. Yeah. That's a great great observation did we just come up with a good observation together (laughs) well that was all you that was you that was that's a crazy detail um i feel good about that one you should (laughs) the the like foam 
the foam stuff on that food looked so i i've seen it in other places like i know people use foam in like these high these like artsy mm-hmm. foods and it's always looks disgusting it to me does. it does looks like spit it, it does looks look horrible. like spit it looks it, cuz it looks like too frothy yeah yeah and i'm like what's the point of this definitely definitely um i wish we saw this at tiff i feel like it would have the same kind of like oh Okay, dude, that was so funny. You cut out. You said, "I I wish we saw this at TIFF," and then you immediately cut out. <laughs> so we're back. We're back. Um, you want to explain what happened, Karsten? So what happened was I was in Palm Springs, and uh, the internet there was really bad. It was really uh, bad. So there was a huge delay. So this first half of this episode might really suck. I have not sat down to see how bad the damage is, but. Um, first of all, I'm going to just use my audio and my, my face cam will not be in the first half of this video, but wait, is mine now? Oh yes. Yours, you, you, everything you did was that's right. Gonna, okay. But that's going to be really weird. Cause it's going to be like a, my face <laughs> and then just talking to the abyss. Yep. I, well, I'm going to put my little like logo or something. Oh yeah. Um, you know, make it, make it sort of like you're talking to something. Um, and then we're back here. Uh, but to wrap up. What it, what are what star rating are we giving the menu? The menu, because <laughs> we did not, and, and we're gonna give it Michelin stars. Oh, there we go, like yeah, a yeah, restaurant. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm gonna go, and here's the thing. I now that it's been a full day since we were kind of talking about it, and I've yeah. kind of digested it more. Get it digested? Because there we go, food, like there we menu. go. Uh, yep. I kind of like it less. So I'm going to go, like, okay. three, three stars. Okay. Interesting. It, I still liked it, but it's just, like, it's yeah. not something that I think is going to have a lot of lasting power in my brain. It's not going to – it doesn't fill your stomach. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I Was see. I actually... more to your taste? <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually had the exact same experience as you in that, like, I did have a really good time watching it. I think it is a, a good, fun – entertaining movie but it is like one of the least filling movies yeah of the year it's very and on the surface exactly um, there's not anything really i mean you there's some you know uh thematic things you can pull out of it but in terms yeah. of um dissecting and digesting the film yeah uh it, there's not that much to it could use some salt it could use some I'm, salt. Yeah, um, some I mean, pepper. the thing is, you don't really want to completely desert the film. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're we're on fire now that we're we have on, yeah, Wi-Fi. We this, that, this, is, <laughs> this is what the crowd wanted. Yeah, I mean, you see, the um, thing is, we're recording this today, but we recorded the other part yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> which is... To, which is which, which is if, still, it, I guess, well, yesterday. The thing is, depending on when you release this, this could be yesterday. I'm going to release this tomorrow, yeah, which so, is today so then, if you're listening to this. Right, so which you're means li- that you're, we're, you're listening to us talking yesterday yes. about something that happened yesterday today. Yes. Which was yesterday. But Yes. Yeah. Precisely. Exactly. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. So I'm going to give it like a three and a half. <laughs> 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 um, oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, it's a shame I, I abandoned that. Do um, you remember when I did that food series yeah, on my ni- channel? Ni- knives, ni- knife, knife out. out. Knife out. I really abandoned it before we got around to this movie was, and before we got around to the Knives Out sequel. Yeah. You now, know? the thing about that is that was such a high effort series yeah. for you. It was. Um, so I totally see why you abandoned it. Um, and it had some people who loved it. Yeah, it had its fans. Um, most people were just like, "I don't want to see this." Yeah, um, that's the, that was the issue. Is that <laughs> they, the they're like, we just want to know the movies, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, it was a fun but, concept. I liked it. You the, know, the we, thing we, is, I only would watch about half of them. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you watched any of them. Yeah, I, I, didn't... I watched like half of them. <laughs> they were okay. It was yeah. okay. No, it, um, it definitely like. There is a market for that. It just does not have a huge cross section with your total viewership. 
could I could do it on TikTok. I could maybe like yes. reformat. Yeah, if you, like, if you cut them up you know? to be like a minute long. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that actually would be a really good TikTok series. That has somehow legs. like a minute versions of it. Yeah, and I think it it could work. Yeah. Um. Anyway, the menu in theaters now. Um, Unless you're listening to this far in the future. Right, 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 right. It's actually at the tail end of its theater run. You did wait? Did you wait? You I didn't ask you about the theater experience. You saw this in a the theater, I'm assuming, or no, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Um, this I, next I, part I, of the I, podcast. I was going to say I unexpectedly had to go to Ohio. Right. Um, yeah. 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 I was so going to say I like have a lot of free time. Totally. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Makes so sense. I definitely didn't do anything illegal. Yeah. So you you made you. Managed to squeak in the time. Exactly, exactly. F- see the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, this next part is the Q&A section. Uh, everybody's favorite section. This first one, I, I want to ask, but I don't think I'm going to answer it. Uh, it's from TauntKeen91, and it's, what were your high school GPAs? Uh, um, so I went to a magnet program um, uh-huh. that was like computer science based. Uh, yeah. because I'm very cool and it's true. <laughs> yeah so I also took a bunch of AP classes so my GPA was like 4.5 when it's when you weight it okay um but I don't know what it is if you didn't weight it with AP classes gotcha yeah gotcha. so I don't, I don't remember how it worked I just remember it was about 4.5 interesting but I think it might have been like 3.6 if you were talking about strictly grades and not this weird weighting system where AP classes are like given more points and yeah 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 nice. anyways since I was in a magnet program with a bunch of losers um <laughs> you were the and cool it, I was one of the losers yeah okay <laughs> uh it was actually um a very difficult program where a bunch of people got kicked out so we started with about 120 people and we only ended with 80 so it screwed my class ranking because my class ranking ended up being like 41 or something it was like dead in the middle yeah yeah which is fine yeah i mean yeah i I will not be answering this question uh (laughs) Uh, well here's the thing you were cool in high school you were like on the swim team um everyone said the swim team wasn't cool though we were so it was the least cool sport yeah you but you said there was a time when a kid pooped in the pool yeah, that's true. Which, that was cool. like, ever that, that probably awesome. was like a story that everyone talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. no. I mean, just... at my high school, the big story was my sister's friend um, swallowed one of the fish from the, the aquarium <laughs> tank, and then he regurgitated <laughs> it, and then he got uh, suspended. That's amazing. That's like that Stevo thing. He he was inspired by Stevo from Jackass. Probably. What he, what year yeah. did Stevo do that? Because this was probably two thousand and five. Wow, I don't. I'm really yeah, old. It was, I mean, I think it was like early 2000s. So yeah, definitely a Stevo. Yeah, I graduated high school in 2009. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's not that much later than mine. That's that's only seven years earlier. Yeah. I graduated in 2016. So yeah. I mean, it's not that because no, I'm seven years older than you. Exactly. Because both yeah. of us didn't like. We weren't so smart that we went up a grade, but we also didn't drop back a grade. Yes. And I'm not yes, saying yes. that you're stupid if you drop back a grade, because there's a lot of reasons for that. There's, like, developmental uh-huh. stuff, emotional stuff. Um, but I was one, always, like, the youngest in my class because my birthday was May. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, like, August 1st was the cutoff, so I was always, always one of the youngest. Amazing. See, I I was a grade above in Spanish um, because I went to a Spanish immersion school for elementary school. Mm. So I, I'm bueno. very good at Spanish. Bueno. So, uh, soy muy bien uh, con español. Ah, uh, sí. But uh, the y, it, actually, I don't know también. if it's soy or estoy, whichever one. I think it's soy. Uh, um, soy is like uh, I am, right? I am, yeah. I I, I am. Yeah, like um, soy americano. Soy y sí. Uh, but the, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was I was really bad at math, so I was basically a grade. I wasn't a grade below, yeah. but I was definitely in the lowest math See, class. That's the thing. I was good at math, but I hated it. Yeah, profusely. Mm, that's that but seems I'm to be terrible at languages. Mm. So we would be like, 
no if you bueno. combined us, we would be great at yeah. everything. Well, because... we would meet right in the middle. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. <laughs> We'd be fine at math and languages. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's that question. Um, this next one uh, is from Large Ad. 8693 and it's do you like zebras or giraffes more now you recently told me a fact about giraffes yes yes um yes. which was what i forget i think they're the only animals that don't make a noise um or they don't have like vocal cords vocal cords yeah they don't have uh, vocal cords yeah which i remember i made the joke all that neck no vocal cord yeah 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 um that was a good one Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it makes sense. The sound would have to travel very far. Yeah, like with their voice, if they did have one, be super deep. Yeah, <laughs> it comes from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like James Earl Jones. <laughs> Wait a second. Voice so the movie Madagascar giraffe. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's actually bullshit. Because it like it can't be David Schwimmer. Mm -mm. It couldn't be anybody. It should be no one. Um, it should have been like a silent giraffe. Yeah. Anyway. But they still like... credit David Schwimmer even though he does no lines. <laughs> <laughs> this uh this quite it's like wait, wait. That's like when they credit um do you know skips in regular show? I think it's past your time. Um I'm aware but... of the existence of regular show. I've never seen it cuz yeah. Okay. I, it was a little past. Or... There's a Yeti character named Skips voiced by Mark Hamill of Star Wars. Right. He does not have any lines. He just goes, "Hmm." That's pretty funny. Uh, which is hilarious. That's a good and I, I'm not the biggest regular show fan. You could fact check me. I don't know if this is actually true. But I, from the episodes I watched, that man never said a single thing. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe he started talking season three. Anyway, this is basically asking Chris Rock or David Schwimmer. Um, mm -hmm. And the answer is definitely Chris Rock. Yeah, sure. If, if that was the question. Now, since that wasn't yeah. actually the question. Is there something wrong with David Schwimmer? Um, I've just heard some things. Nothing, like, terrible. I've just heard that he's not that nice. But, like, that's oh. anecdotally. Yeah. I know a lot of people that ran into him uh, when they lived on the DePaul campus. Because apparently he lived nearby. Oh. And they were like, he was just very unkind. Which, I don't know if I believe that. Um, But... You didn't don't don't trust us. Yeah, you this. heard it here um, first. I'm sure, he's a fine man. I mean, I'm not sure uh, of that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't go. Well, that we're far. not. <laughs> no, I'm not sure of anything. I've never met David Schwimmer. Everything no. we've ever heard is anecdotal. No, yeah, cannot confirm he's a decent person. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna go zebras. Uh -huh. They're cooler. You don't get animals like that that often. Um. I mean, well, what about a horse? It's very similar. Well. You're right. A giraffe is, I guess, more. <laughs> yeah, that's that was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, giraffes then. <laughs> so yeah, so we both agree giraffe is better. Yep, yep. Um, this last one is for Jeff. It comes from uh, uh is Tig two three four one. I think and that's it's... probably correct. Jeff, it's like I have a question. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think Tyg. it's Tig. Yeah, because I have a friend with a son with that name. There we go. There we go. Just got a friend with a son. Um, this person asked, Jeff, I have a question about solo travel. Any tips and or advice? I'm not quite sure if it's for me, but it's been a while since I've been away and none of my friends are looking to travel. So I'm thinking about going myself, but I'm unsure what I'd be doing daily. Yeah. Now, uh, there's been other times I think I've answered similar questions. Um, yes. And I think that... You're never going to be sure about solo travel uh, because of the reason that Tyg has already mentioned, which is you don't know what you're going to do. But yeah. I treat that as an advantage to solo travel because you're not having this itinerary that's set in stone. You can do whatever you want on any given day. So the first thing for solo travel is you have to stay at hostels. Uh, because yes. that's where you get to talk to people. Because that's the thing, is if you don't talk to anyone and your solo travel is longer than, like, five days, you start getting really lonely. So I yeah. always stay at hostels. They all have common areas. You just hang out, talk to people. Um, I go on a lot of walking tours, which are really nice because you just walk around and see a bunch of a city. 
hear about the history of it. You, you know, I do it a lot of times with people I meet at hostels. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you just find, like, cities that interest you, and then you go to museums there. So it's, like, worst case, I just go to, like, museums and learn about whatever city I'm in. And then best case, I, like, meet someone who I hang out with. True. I think that's the the, the, the perk of solo traveling. It's just it's a lot more free, yeah, like, like you said. Yeah, like, last time I did it, um, I started, you know, solo traveling through like the Balkans and I got to Slovenia yeah. and I met a German guy who ended up traveling with him in his car for like three weeks. <laughs> That's all of, through so... a bunch of different countries. I mean, <laughs> it, you never know. Like I obviously didn't plan that. I had no idea that was going to happen, but it's a good life experience. Yeah. It actually was because of this podcast that it happened because really? I was staying, yeah, I was staying in the same hostel as this guy. Um, but we had to record an episode. So I had to, stay in a private room in a different hostel for one night so i had like a place to record uh -huh. and it was a two-bed hostel room and then this guy it just so happened that he was trying to stay one more night and there was no rooms available in the current hostel and i was already like hung out with him for like a day and i'm like hey yeah. i have an extra bed in this private room that you can just like <laughs> stay in with me um because i rented it to do the podcast yeah and then i ended up being like really good friends with them and then we just traveled together because he was already going like the same direction i was going yeah that's crazy yeah, wow it was, it was awesome look at this podcast bringing people together um you know sort of yeah sort of <laughs> <laughs> you know it brought us together yeah. too we're so much closer it's true it's well we're not uh, physically no we're... physically we've no. almost never been close during the whole run of this podcast that's true we were closer and any every part of our friendship besides the podcast <laughs> but yeah um i would like to anyway. travel with you sometime i well we technically we did a little bit in toronto yeah. but i would like to properly travel you yeah. know no i've been thinking more about traveling because i'm like i was just in california which wasn't really like the same as like a europe yeah you trip, went with but cookie though right i was with cookie yeah it looked like a lot of like, fun based on all the photos it was super fun. And I'm like, traveling? Going to a new place? It's a good time. Big One of our biggest recommendations on this podcast. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I heavily recommend if you're from North America, traveling to Europe. Yes. And then if you like it, you can kind of go to places that are a little more difficult to travel um, as like mm -hmm. a native English speaker, which is like Vietnam, which yeah. is awesome. But it, it's a little overwhelming because there's a lot less English being spoken where in Europe pretty much everyone in the tourism industry, like hostel workers, hotel workers, they all yeah. speak English. Yeah. Um, anyway, those are the questions for today. Good answer, Jeff. Good Thank answer. Um, good question. Always, always can count on Jeff for a good travel. I related love answer. talking about travel and doing it's it. It's a good time. Um, I was like, I love talking about travel. Hate doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, next week's movie. We'll get into the wrap up. I am not sure. Now, this would be a good time to do Knives Out. Uh, but we already but did But we it. already did that. We did. Um, <laughs> um, oh, you know what, though? The Banshees is out on HBO Max. Banshees of Sharon. It yeah. is on HBO Max. And we haven't actually talked about that one. Because I haven't yeah. seen it. That's true. Oh, my God. So, then I don't we know. Should, we got to cover Banshees. Okay. Yeah. Because it sounded like I will like it a lot. So, I am. I, it's a very funny movie that I think would be up your alley yeah do yes. you so so that's the one that's the move that's the one we're doing banshees of inisherin which i'm actually probably going to rewatch it this week because i told my parents we should watch it as perfect family. i can um, watch it with my family too watch it with your family it is the latest from mark mcdonough it's available on hbo max in the u.s and it's one of the big award front runners and i really like it and that's the case. Um, if Carson likes it. You know it's good because Carson you know has it's gonna be good. phenomenal taste, which is why you you subscribe to him on YouTube. You do it. You do it for the takes. You do it for the hair. You do it for the <laughs> smile. Thanks, Jeff. He's a triple Full threat. package. Um, this next part is the review section. Um, one of our favorite sections. Uh, this one, and I. These are reviews that I do not read beforehand. I just kind of go for it live mm -hmm. um and this one comes from alara sings from switzerland Ooh. uh subject line five stars with two z's uh five stars the that's the actual rating 
and it reads, I'm always looking forward to your podcast and especially enjoy the trivia question Karsten asked Jeff at the beginning. I've discovered lots of movies I had never heard about before through your podcast. Now I have a trivia question for the both of you. What animal has the largest eyes on the planet? Um. Ooh, so if this is... I'm assuming this is is just largest full stop, so not like yes, to proportion to the body. Yeah. Um, I think it's blue whale. Blue whale. I'm gonna go squid. Like I giant feel like a, squid. It's giant squid has not a giant a eye. Squid. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> giant squid. <laughs> yeah. Normal squid. <laughs> um, they did not give us the answer okay. here, so I have to Google it. Oh, um, you, you got it. Animal with largest eyes. I, I'm using okay. There, hey, giant squid. There you go. Good. Giant squid well have done. the largest well eye done, in the animal done. kingdom, at up to ten inches in diameter. Um, that's crazy. That is Often crazy. described as the size of a dinner plate. Dude, imagine if you had eyes that big. <laughs> big eyes. If, if anyone's big eyes, that's just, that's the movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone, if anyone's listening to this, uh, please uh, on Instagram Photoshop. A photo of Karsten to make his eyes as big as giant squid eyes. <laughs> if anyone made it this far in the podcast, yeah, please do. Um, the last part is uh thanking the patrons over at patreon.com slash Karscast, the best place to go to get exclusive content from the both of us. We're lacking this month. I'm not gonna lie, but it's but because of the holidays. Yes. Um, and we we will deliver. If there's something we will that everyone knows about us, it's that we deliver on the patron uh, content. Yeah. Um, we haven't. We're we, gonna didn't, be, we didn't do the hangout yet this month, did we? No. So that's what. That's why. That's what I was uh, saying. We should do tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow we do the episode, and then the next day we do the hangout. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Um, we're gonna get to it. We promise. And, um, and remember, we recorded this yesterday, so anything we're saying is not. This is yeah. No, this we didn't even need to say that out loud. Um, yeah, we didn't. We yeah. The, the, but, the names. The names. Something that is on time are these names. Uh, thank you, Alex, Alex, Alex Thomas, Anson Contreras, Big Beard Pirate, Boinks, Camilla, Coop, David Borslow, David Sir, Eden, Finn Richardson, Goodnight Tail, Jacob Meyer, The, Jared Armstrong, John Van Hout, KDT, Leonard. Let's change the Google, let's change the Google search results for PTA. Levin, Jar Jar is the best Star Wars character. Luke Warm, Maddie Robertson, Martin Deff, Marilee Borslow, Michael Rennie, Monroe Page, Noah Wooten, Pasta, Queen of Staten Island, Racker Cooney, Riley Ost, Ryan M, Sad Kenny, Sam, Sam Farr, Stella Perry, Super Kelly Fragile. Expialidocious, Smitty Warman, Jager and Jensen, Taylor's uh, Taylor Taylor's version, the raccoon from Airbud Seventh Inning Fetch, Wes Kinley, Wiley, Todd, Yusef A, and Zoe Hernandez, McDonald. McDonald. Um, I did love the Jar Jar Binks shout out. Yes, I fully agree. Jar Jar Binks Two. is the best Star Wars character, unironically. And on that note, uh, catch that's you on the flip the side. The episode. Catch you on the flip side. Flip side.